Alright guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Extra from Team Extra. This is another match from the locals. I'm playing Labyrinth on the left, and Miss Team Extra's Mr. Morgana is playing Twin Sprite on the right. So this is actually a team a team match, ironically enough. Mr. Extra himself going against Mr. Team Extra's Morgana. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Man, my camera angle is a little off today. I gotta fix that. So we're gonna set three. We're gonna pass. We're gonna flip over the summon limit. And then we're gonna flip over the welcome labyrinth as well. Just to get the ball rolling, guys. We are going we are up in here. We're gonna try to crush him. It looks like I got a punishment face down. He uh uses the starter. Looks like he ended up negating. No, no, he goes to start he changed starter. He chain starter. I thought he negated the labyrinth, and I don't believe he did. And then when he used starter, I hit him with that fat ash, guys. I hit him with the ash. I got him on our summit limit. He can't really do much right now. I know my buddy Morgana here. I know I know how he plays. So summit limit really hurts him. It, it hurts everything personally. So he went ahead and DD crowed my welcome labyrinth. So we're just gonna swing some damage on castle. Nice little slow start. I really don't have anything else here personally. This is my first draft at this deck, guys. So he is going to go ahead and put out the Swap Frog. It looks like I have a Punishment and an Overroot. Overroot goes hard in this deck, guys. Do not sleep on it. I use it to inconsistent my opponent pretty often. So he went up putting Swamp Frog back to him. We're going to go Chandelier. Shen Dagger. I got I'm gonna just call him Chandelier, dude. It's so much easier. So we're gonna use his effect. We're gonna send the overroot that we had in our hand. We're going to set the field spell, which I'm gonna flip over anyways, but that is beside the point. I got smart enough to move the life points over. Congratulations to being smart. I wish my the camera was just down a little bit more, but I guess I didn't, the placement was off compared to like last week, guys. But so he's gonna swap frog. I, I am not the 2200, by the way, and I'm the 8000. I'm going to use Overroot, and we're going to target Swap Frog, and we're going to set his, I believe it was DD Crow. And then, uh, at this point, Castle's effect should go off to our hand rip, but he has no hand. Because the card he drew for turn, I believe. No, he, no, he put it on the field. He has no hand, or I would have hand ripped him too. He's going to go Talents. Let's see. Where is he gonna go from here? Where is he gonna go? I remember this match. I ended up losing this match, but it was pretty good. So I used her effect to set a card. Then I put out Ariano. I'm pretty much gonna end the game right here. Unless he has anything else for me. Ariana's gonna search Welcome Labyrinth because I got the field spell. I kinda got my little setup. I'm gonna use Overroot again. We're gonna go to the Ronin, and then we're just gonna set another card to uh, set off Castle's effect. And there you go, I just ripped the card out of his hand. Like half the time when I set off Overroot guys, I just do it just to set off Castle's effect to like reduce the cards in their hand. We're gonna swing swing. We're gonna set, we don't have anything else. I wanted to knock that card out of his hand, which was beneficial. We're gonna use Chandelier effect. Because you can do it from field as long as you have something to discard from hand. I didn't use it this actual turn. So we're going to welcome Labyrinth on standby. We're going to put out Stovey. Then my field spell should go off. We're going to pop a card. And then we go in the game too. <clears throat> now, I, I do have some pros and cons so far that I've seen about this deck. It is, um, it's more fun than Eldritch. And I mean, I'm someone who usually doesn't play Golden Boy because there is one person on my team already who plays Golden Boy who's, who would be much, who's much better at it than most people. But aside from that, <clears throat> I've been using Skill Drain with this, but it's like a toss-up. And I'm not using Archfiend right now because I'd rather just have a second Silver Castle and Archfiend, like, it's a free body, but I mean, that's kind of it. And so far for the Labyrinth cards, um... A lot of them suck, from what I've seen. Like, a Fair Welcome Labyrinth, like, all of them have their own situations that play off really good. Like, Labyrinth Barrage is pretty good. 
Which, right now I cut that out for the build I'm testing this week, but a Fair Welcome Labyrinth was situational. I would have to have a fiend for me to be able to use it. And then I'd rather I just cut that out and I made Triple Ghastly Glitch and then changed up the ratios a little bit so the Labyrinth cards are a little bit different. It's gonna go swap. Swap, dump the Ronin. Like for the traps right now, my new build I believe is like Ghastly Glitch, Compulse I'm gonna take out. Uh, skill Drain, Summit Limit, Rivalry, stuff like that, uh, Overroot, Imperm, Welcome Labyrinth, obviously because that was what I would need to do here, but that's like the build that I'm going to be testing this week. I'm trying to tighten it up before the uh, regional, so here we go, it's Gigantic, uh, I Imperm the Gigantic to slow him down, we're going to go um, Chandelier. You're gonna set that. I revealed a heavenly as well. I'm not using a heavenly anymore either. Heavenly was breaking me a lot. You're probably like how. So we're gonna go labyrinth. Welcome labyrinth. Gonna put out castle. I always usually put out castle first, but it really depends on what my other back row is because put castle out so I can resolve the back row to clear your partner's field. So I'm assuming it's punishment. But heavenly effect. Heavenly's gonna set the summit limit, which means he's gonna have to play real weird. Downside is if I could flip the summit limit out this same turn, I would have won this game. So he's gonna go uh, pink girl, blue girl, kiss kill, lula. He's gonna search for another one. I was sick as shit through this whole locals, by the way. Gonna go frost, put out jet. Like I'm still getting over it if you guys can hear it in my voice between this one and the Labyrinth video I put out earlier today for um, he going against uh, Despia. I personally enjoy this deck there. So we're going to Overroot again. He's got the Snitch out now. We're going to Overroot. Let's see. We're Overrooting here to get Castle's effect, by the way. That's the, that's the plan here. Did I miss the effect? Yes, I did. I was supposed to hand rip there. He is chaining smashers, or using smashers. So he's smashering away the card I just set on field. Which means overroot wouldn't really resolve, actually. Because the one he set on field, he banished, and the one I targeted Grave, he also tried to banish. And then he, yeah, he got rid of Castle that way. Real cheesy way about it. I was trying to resolve our effect though. But hey. Now, Lord of the Heavenly, I took that out, and I'm not maining Lava Golem, I'm side decking it mainly because um, the Heavenly feels like I'm playing Elf Lich. And I feel like it takes too long. So he's gonna go Elf Play, another Gigantic. Matt's been getting really good lately on this stuff. Or should I say Morgana? He prefers Morgana. But he's been getting really good, been climbing the locals lately. Go in the Toad. He's gonna <coughs> love tap Lord. He's gonna hit me with damage. I'm at 37. We're surviving. You see me? I'm, I'm trying to power up for my power draw. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Giffy because that's your skill drink. I'm thinking about some side deck and skill drink, guys. I got told that skill drink kind of cripples this deck a little hard and. I mean, I kind of see it, but I've also won games because they cut out the skill drain. But, huh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyone who watches this video, because since I know I'm in a labyrinth group, y'all tell me your opinion on skill drain, okay? Like, should I side it, should I main it, I have a local, I have a locals Friday, we're going to flip some of them in on standby, and then I also have a regional Saturday, so you all let me know. So he's going to go swap, he's going to swap for Jet. He's going to do the same razzle dazzle that any sprite player does. I use chandelier. Well, oh, okay. So it looks like all he did was put out the swap. He has twin twisters. I saw him the twin twisters. That saw I should not have saw him that. By the way, guys, that I, I lost over that right there. I ended up putting Elich out in the field. I haven't done any real summons or whatever. I used Elich to swing over his swap. So. 
So at this point, it's a summon limit, no lich, and then a dream. I should not have... I mean, summon limit uh, hindered him real hard. But it didn't... It wasn't enough, you know? It makes sense. So he smashers the summon limit. He's gonna go gigantic. He's gonna combo off right here because uh, I have no hand. I have I have no hand. I am already top decking because um, for game three for this I opened with no engine, which is really weird. And I opened with like just generic trap cards and Eldritch that I didn't I ended up drawing into, and Lord, Lord isn't gonna help me right then and there. That's why I ended up taking it out. Temporary protection, cool, but I can always shotgun all my stuff. 